tonight we're going to feed some turtles at night and see what kind of cool behaviors and see what kind of turtles we see so let there be light and here we go all right let's get this little striped mud turtle girl a little piece of shrimp there we go <laughs> Just gonna enjoy that. All right, next up we got a map turtle. All right, map turtle, what? Change your mind. Here we go, I know another map turtle will come in and get this. There you go, a little falsy map. You gonna take it or are we gonna go? Mississippi map will take it. All right. All right, so I'm gonna set this here. I'm going to take some more pieces of shrimp. Toss out some more pieces. See who comes in for it. It's one of my favorite things. We'll bring this light in a little closer. There we go. Nice bright light. Alright. I've got a loggerhead over here to the side. Let's see if you can get this loggerhead a piece. There you go. Get you some loggerhead. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Gonna get that piece. Go. So far, so good. Getting some, uh, some interesting turtles to come in for this. Looking good. Throw a whole one out there. That'll get everybody excited. So yeah, even the cooters will get in on this. To this pink belly side, man. There you go. Up, oh, soft shell. Soft shell came in. He's gonna get some. Very nice. It's cool to see everybody come in. They love getting some shrimp at night. All right, so let's try a different end of the pond. These guys love that. It's good for them. Good for them to get some protein here and there. Got the soft shell hanging out over there. All right. Oh, there's a loggerhead over there. Let's try that. Okay, just gonna get right in there and get that piece of shrimp. Awesome. So yeah, there is a lot of turtles in this pond, and in reality, there's probably way too many turtles in this pond, and I'll end up having to build another pond, and um, you know, just keep the keep the builds going, but I end up making another pond and kind of split this up. Uh, I do have one pond already in mind where I'm gonna move some of the non-native stuff, so the Asian turtles, the pink bellied side necks, all that stuff will kind of be in more of a non-native based pond. Whereas this one is more native species, cooters and stuff like that. But, uh, it's been fun watching them in here. It's just, it's about time to, to kind of split this up. All right, so here we are at the alligator snapper pond. We'll see if we can get any attention from anybody. Uh, we'll put a couple shrimp in here, see if anybody comes in for him. That's Tony right there. Let's see if we can get him to... Come on, buddy. Right here. There we go. Get that shrimp. You want that shrimp. Come on. There we go. Let's, let's see that big yellow head. Come on. Come get it. Here you go, buddy. There we go. Perfect. Let's give him another one. All right. Let's do another shrimp for Tony. Where you at, bro? Where you at, my bro? Here he is. See how gentle? So awesome. So really stoked to see this pond back, back at night. Looks really good lit up with all the plants. Let's go and um, let's try and feed somebody else. Let's go visit the Mexican giant musk. All right, so here we go. We're at the Mexican giant musk. Let's see if we can get this. There we are. <laughs> there he is. What's up, buddy? How are you? You ready? That shrimp. Boom, there we go. So awesome. Oh, you got it down quick, too. Are you ready for another one? Ready for another one? 
There you go. Get that shrimp. Get that shrimp. It's right on your head. Get it. Boom. Get it. Go get it. <laughs> get down to the bottom and get it. Good job. Love that guy. Such a cool turtle, man. These guys just... God, they're just always so cool. And um, recently some guys from the TSA and the North American Freshwater Turtle Research Group just went down to Belize and they actually just caught some of these guys. So go on Facebook, give them a look. Check out some of the adults that they caught in one of those rivers in Belize. I think you'll be impressed. Um, these turtles are just so impressive, especially getting to see those adults. Those adults kind of coming out of the wild down there in uh, Belize. Awesome. Cool. That was a good little feeding. That guy is still hungry. <laughs> All right, coming down here, got a light on the aquascape pond. And I believe we should have a razorback musk turtle down here. Let's see if we get a chance to. Yep, I see it down there. Let's see if we get a chance to give this guy some shrimp. You ready? Come here. Come here, Razorback. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Razorback musk turtle. There we go. He's gonna enjoy that shrimp. Look at that. These guys get really active at night, late in the day, uh, also early morning, and then uh, kind of middle of the day they go hide and. Uh, pretty much hang out underneath these rocks. That little razorback musk and enjoy eating that shrimp. Gonna tear it up or are you just gonna sit and stare at me? <laughs> so cool to see. That's a happy musk turtle, man. Mouthful of shrimp. I don't know if it gets any happier than that. All right, so we're gonna finish back where we started. I'm hoping we might be able to get a soft shell turtle to come up and feed. We'll see. Let's see, there's a pink belly. Let's see if we can get him to take a small piece of shrimp. Uh, they're so shy. You really have to Kind of stay on for them to get it. All right, there you go, guys. Look at that shrimp. I see a soft shell over there. Let's see if we can get her attention. She is right. There she is. Boom. She just got it. Nice. We got the soft shell to eat something. And who else? I'll take anything. No? Yes? There you go. There you go. That tail. That's good for you. All right. So just because somebody does not get something at night does not mean that they don't get food during the day or that they can't forage for things. There's lots of fish and snails and clams. Uh, there's aquatic plants always being thrown in here. So all these turtles have plenty of chances to eat each and every day. They have the ability to forage. See a soft shell over there. You can see that head sticking up right over that log. Whoa, whoa, that was my hand you were about to bite. Don't bite my hand. Don't bite my hand. <laughs> Don't bite my hand. Let's take a look at this, this is a stink pot. I've had this stink pot many years. Look at you. Wow, you've gotten like kind of a cool pattern over time. I think when I first got you, you were much smaller and more like kind of classic black and white. So. Always cool to see turtles I've had a long time. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, did a little something different by lighting things up for a feeding and um, always fun to do that So hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you Next week for field hurt Fridays and then the following week. We'll be back at it with another uh, feeding Friday. So see you guys then Take care